Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns has such a promising start. Right from the opening sequence, you could feel the energy and the high stakes. The action was intense, pulling you into the world immediately. The fight choreography was on point, and it felt like the story was setting up for something truly epic. The way the plot elements unfold in the early stages gave me so much hope that we were in for a wild ride, new twists, fresh character dynamics, and a real sense of chaos brewing under the surface. But no, the first few hours had everything you'd expect from a Mortal Kombat expansion. Brutal battles, iconic characters returning, and a story that really hooked you. It was building tension and seemed to be laying the groundwork for something massive. You could see the potential and the narrative threads being woven early on throughout the entire story. So what the heck does NRS do next? They take and drop the ball. Not once, but this is the second time that they drop the ball. Now, Mortal Kombat 1's original story, in my opinion, started off really good. Just like Chaos Reigns, it had a strong opening and a weak conclusion. We'll get to that in a second. Let's focus on the sudden decline. But as the story progressed, I must say this. Things just fell apart. It felt like the DLC lost its direction. What started out as an exciting plot with a lot of promise gradually became disjointed and disappointed. You'd go from these high intensity moments to scenes that felt rushed and poorly thought out. It's almost as if the developers had a great vision in mind but didn't have enough time to flesh it all out. For example, you got Sector and Cyrex and all of them stuck in a little maze. They're freaking cyborgs, they can fly. Get them flying up out of there. Now Sector can only fly a distance, right? Can't Sector turn invisible? Couldn't they use their powers for that? Why did Rain get stuck between two walls when he could have easily turned to water and got himself up out of there? And he could teleport. Anyway, the pacing really took a hit, especially in the second half. Instead of a gradual buildup towards a climactic ending, everything just started happening too quickly. You were getting hit with the key plot points, but they weren't giving time to breathe at all. Characters that seemed important early on were either sidelined or rushed through their arcs without much explanation. Now let me get started on the character development, which started off strong, I gotta admit, became almost an afterthought towards the end. Some of the characters who had interesting motivations early on suddenly made decisions that felt out of character or were too convenient just to wrap up the story. It left a lot of moments feeling hollow, like they were just moving pieces around, you know, just to get to the ending rather than letting things unfold naturally. Enter example. You had your boy Noob Saibot stepping up every two seconds, thinking he Goku, thinking he can take on anybody. You got his entire arc, where it started left and it stayed left. It didn't start left and then go right. He learned nothing, absolutely nothing. He learned nothing. This was the opportunity to turn Noob Saibot good by having him after he got tortured by Havoc and turned into Noob. Like, come on now, you really missed a huge plot point right there. That was a huge waste of my time. Anyway, nonetheless, it's disappointing because after such a great start, I had high hopes for where the story could go. But by that time, I reached a conclusion. It just felt like a what? Missed opportunity, which is the name of my new series. Gotta plug that in there. The moment from the beginning, the story was over at that point. And instead of an epic finale, it fizzled out in a way that didn't do justice to the strong foundation that was built in the early stages. Mortal Kombat 1's original story did the same thing. Y'all had this dope story. Y'all had Chronica back. Y'all had the timelines merging. And then you go do all this time travel BS. And it was all for nothing. Same thing with your boy Havoc. How your boy Havoc is juped up. Your boy Havoc is juiced up off the Zaza juice. Come on, man. This dude got the Kami Dogus. He boosted. He on steroids. How did you take him down this easy? How did you not have so much fun with the theme Chaos Reigns? 
This man should have been raining chaos through the entire realms. It should have been nightmares everywhere. It should have been on some scarecrow times 1000 type of stuff. They really dropped the ball on this story really bad. Havoc being defeated by Noob Cybot? Come on, bro. All he did was rip his limbs off. Didn't we just see 10 seconds before his limbs got ripped off that he ripped his own limbs off and they turned into more Havocs? So when Noob Cybok rips his limbs off, that's it? He's done? Havoc didn't say anything. We didn't see a conclusion to Havoc. It just conveniently switched over to Noob Cybot being put into some type of time capsule and they put him in the the room of elements or whatever you wanted the temple of elements come on now and for those of you that's going to say oh gears froze him in time oh wait so gears can freeze people in time now awesome powers so you mean to tell me he couldn't do that when havoc tried to kidnap him the first time he couldn't freeze that in time he couldn't do that how did he get kidnapped by havoc to begin with you're freaking gears Come on, dude. This was so rushed and so lackluster. I actually feel sorry for NRS. I feel so sorry for them. And I feel so sorry to continue to see them struggle with this game to try to find out what to do with it. It's time to hang it up. No more Mortal Kombat for the next five years. I am sorry. This is the last game. We don't need no more Mortal Kombat games unless you're going to reboot the series again and you're going to put everything back to the way it was, which I mean a 1v1 story. And on top of that 1v1 story, we need a regular story mode that involves no time travel and we don't want no plot holes in it at all. We don't want that. And don't get me started on all the Marvel copying. I got a lot of videos to make. I'm telling you right now, NRS, y'all done put a fire back under me because I'm about to drop so many videos. Y'all gonna think I was a part of the P. Diddy case. That's what's getting ready to happen because I am beyond furious. I'm so furious, guys, to the point that I went out and bought myself a PS5, bought Mortal Kombat 1 just so I could play Combat League and so that I can see the shenanigans that's going to be happening in Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns. Now, I did not buy the Chaos Reigns DLC. I watched it for free on YouTube. However, once the characters become available, the only character I'm buying is Terminator. That's the only character I'm getting is the Liquid Terminator. That's it because they better have did him correctly. He better have been done right. Now, I will be hopping in the lab so that I could learn how to play Mortal Kombat 1 again, especially you guys know Tanya was my main and so was Rain, but I am going to be going live to play with you guys and you will be getting three videos a day. Again, this is starting from today when you're seeing this video. Don't worry, all videos have been recorded and they are scheduled to be released. So you will not be missing out on any videos at all. I can guarantee you that. But I just want to say this here. I am mega disappointed in WB Discovery and NRS and Ed Boon. I'm not even going to put the blame on you. I just feel sorry for you at this point because I'm just feeling like you either got done dirty or you just don't care about the franchise anymore. But I want to lean towards the fact that I feel like you got done dirty. I don't think you got nearly as much time. I don't think you got nearly as, no as much money as needed to render the scenes that needed to be rendered. Or I guess you guys ran out of money to pay actors. You didn't meet some deadlines, so you had to wrap it up. Something is going on. Something is going on at this point. Either that or you guys are too busy being wrapped up in the next project that you guys are working on. <coughs> Injustice. So hopefully whatever y'all put out next is going to be good. And don't get me started on the animalities because I got a video coming on that too. I definitely got a video coming on that. So what I want to do is I want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below. How do you feel about Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns? Do you feel like the chaos reigned? Did you enjoy the story mode? Did it give you highs? Did it give you lows? Because I can tell you right now, I was so hyped for Havoc, but I'm very disappointed. 
that's going to be another video I'm going to make about Havoc and how they could have used Havoc. They could have used Havoc in the correct way. He was the perfect character, the only villain in Mortal Kombat history that you can literally do everything that works in his favor, and y'all managed to mess that up. It's almost like giving somebody a lottery ticket with a hundred million dollars on it. How did you still become broke and we gave you a hundred mil? I'm confused. You couldn't make no good decisions? So y'all see where I'm getting at with that, right? So anyway, I again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're ready for those gameplay videos and and all types of stuff like that combat lead videos invasion videos whatever then you came to the right place because i got a crap ton of content coming you guys and i can't wait to get you guys back on track with this new stuff with that being said thanks for watching make sure you smash that subscribe button to turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily mortal kombat content thanks for watching catch you in the next one. <laughs>